round three of the Imperial Assault Regional Championships here in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, we're playing at the lovely For the Win Board Game Cafe up uh, near Lawrence and Young. Uh, it's my first time up here. It's actually really nice. Oh, uh, cool. I'm Travis from VTTV, and I'm joined by VJ. Yeah, VJ, you know, otherwise known as Never Bet the Fet. Um, so yeah, you, one thing I can say about this place, uh, this is actually my home store. Uh, this is kind of the stronghold for Imperial Salt in Toronto, and we all know it's not a hugely popular game necessarily, like it is and it isn't. It's like it's a hard game to get into in some ways, but not. I don't know how to explain it other than that. But all I know is that we play pretty religiously. Here we get we consistently get four to six people every Thursday. Tournaments we can usually get twelve to sixteen potentially. Um, so it's fun. We have a lot of fun doing it. We usually for our, uh, our our regular nights we don't do the tournament maps. In fact, we we bring out all the weird maps and it's your chance to bring out fun stuff and play the game without you know any pressure. And I really like that about this game. I played other Star Wars games where it seemed like everyone just really wanted to bring their medalists and practice for the big tournaments, which totally makes sense. But I, it wasn't for me. So we do that here every Thursday, and uh, we have people visit sometimes, and have, they have a really good time. So today, yeah. We've got <clears> 14 me. players here for the event yeah, today. Yeah, 14 made it out for the regionals, which is pretty good. Uh, um, three from Mont three came in from Montreal. Yeah, three all the way from Montreal. We've got Stefan, Pierre Yves, and Carl that can come, and actually they're uh, they're all doing quite well. Um, yep. But in the last match, I have to report, and this is why you're seeing Carl on screen. Carl beat Stefan, and from what I understand, they had they have a nice rivalry because uh, they played that exact same scenario with I think the same squads, and guess what? It was not the same result. So sure. I think Carl was a little happy that this time he was able to come through with it and. Now we're watching him against Kenny uh, Kento, actually, who's from Winnipeg. And I was going to ask. I saw the jersey. <laughs> yeah, he came. He flew all the way to um, our lovely, you know, city and, and store to play in our regional. So, but he's also visiting Toronto. Um, or no, really. I thought you said he was staying for, or is it someone else who was staying for? Um, a while? he's here. He's been here for. He's going to be here for twelve days. But yeah. He, the only thing he's done other than play Star Wars gaming with me and our friends is he went to two Toronto FC games. So I think he was really happy about that. He's He loves soccer. He likes all sports, really. He's, he's into all of them. Yeah. It's great. We've been having a great time. He's been staying at my place, actually. And um, we play we played Rebellion last night. Oh, nice. <laughs> you, know, you know what? It's crazy how it ended. Uh, but I'll tell you more about that later because it looks like the game's about to start. But it ended with Luke blowing up the Death Star with an X-Wing. So Nice. And he had help from Han. Um, it did... It's crazy. That game does... I think it's probably the most thematic Star Wars game out there. Um, but it does take a little bit of learning. Uh, it does take a few hours. But, man, it was super fun. So, Kent, Kento has come and played uh, a lot of X-Wing... Uh, sorry, um, Imperial Salt and Star Wars game. We watched a lot of hockey and stuff. And uh, we did the Mi Michigan Regionals last weekend as well. Oh, nice. So... Um. Are they these both players both 2-0 or...? Uh, that's correct. Okay. Yeah, they're both 2-0. Uh, Kenny had a, a bye. The store championship bye yeah. for the first round? Okay. That's right. So it looks like right now um, Carl has used the officer to command a elite jet to move up. And he's just getting the officer in a position and probably no, getting him uh, like out of line of sight for now. Because it's really tough on this map. Kenny does have Alliance Rangers. So if we look at the list really quickly while they're playing... Kenny's got Alliance Rangers, he's got Hera, Gideon, Han Solo, C-3PO, and yes, you're seeing it, Lando Calrissian on the board. He's playing planning on that play there. He moved up Hera, he's playing planning, so he can... Uh, so yeah, I'm glad you brought Lando up on the screen. So if you look at his ability, so resourceful, so when he's attacking or defending, he can re-roll one die, but he can change the die itself. So if he, he rolls a black, naturally. But if he wants to try to get a dodge, he can go, I'm going to re-roll. But I'm going to use a white to re-roll. His command card's cool because he can basically switch it to any result. So think about that. He can basically dodge. If he gets his command cards, it's a free dodge. Um, well, I guess that's assuming he can actually get a die to roll. Because you can yeah. take his, his, his defense dice away. So um, it's interesting in this map, the posturing, and I'll get to the, the lists again in a minute to, to finish off with Carl's. But... The posturing is going to be, you know, you got to be careful because if you have long-range shooters like Kenny does with Alliance Rangers, they can hit from, you know, 17 away, potentially. But um, the the objectives of this uh, mission are those crates that are in the middle. It's always about crates in this I game. I know. It's about running and grabbing stuff, you know. There's no ships, pew-pew. It's like pew-pew around corners of walls and stuff. 
So these crates. There's a lot of manual labor in this game. I, I don't there understand. There is a lot, a lot of it. Schlepping yeah. thing from one side of the map to the other. Yeah, and that's what you need. Those guys that are going to do it. You need those guys that all their job is going to be to carry stuff. You know. So those crates are, if you control a crate, meaning you're the only one that's adjacent to it, so beside it, you're going to gain four points at the end of the round. If, you're, if you are within two of the crate, if someone tries to attack you and they're not also within two, they're going to lose a surge on their attack. So oh, imagine nice. that thing's kind of protecting you from long yeah. range shots. So I think Carl's going to take advantage of that. I think he's going to try and push a lot of his figures up to those crates, or at least get them ready to be near those crates, yeah. and just hope that he's going to take a lot of surges away. And, and those are points you can collect every round? That's correct. So okay. if you're just standing there, you leave a guy there, if he doesn't take him out, he's going to get another four at the end of the round. And again, it has to be controlled, meaning the only one adjacent to it. So it doesn't go with a uh, number. When I first started the game, I'm like, hey, I have three, you have one. No, no, it's just one. So uh, if you take a look at the rest of uh, Carl's list, he's got Rule by Fear, which gives him an extra card at the beginning. Of, well, he picks up two cards, he gets to withdraw one at the beginning of the game. And it looks like he got rid of, um, I actually can't make that one out. Uh, you know, sorry, I can't make that one out. But that, yeah, so Rule by Fear, well, oh, that's beautiful. These graphics are cool, man. I, I tell everyone you're the best in the world, so I, I'm, I'm not being, uh, I'm not being uh, argued with you on that one. But he's got Zillow. He's got two officers, which is great for getting movements, but also grabbing things. He's got two sets of elite jet troopers. He's got one set of elite uh, riot troopers, and he's got Darth Vader. And I think the key here is the riot troopers give you that extra sort of tankiness. Um, they not only do they start off their activation with an automatic block, like a block token, sorry, um, but they're hard to take down. The other thing that's a bit advantageous using them is they're only three points. And what that means is you could use reinforcements and you could have two copies of that card in your hand. And what that means is you can bring back a figure into the game. So you still lose the points when you die, but you're going to bring back another figure. So it's kind of annoying. Cause they're, you know, you're bringing back a, a figure that's got seven hit point uh, hit defense. Um, now, yeah, they're melee, so you do have to get right adjacent to the figures. So there's that. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's kind of the breakdown. You can see Kenny's list. He also has um, Rebel High Command, which gives him uh, extra. Um, oh, yeah. Is it one, he, sorry, he gets one extra uh, command card at the end of the round, and he's got. Um, What's wrong? Uh, da -da -da. Why am I forgetting the name? I'm blanking out here. Sorry. Sorry, Rebel High Command is he gets to put. Um, yeah, he gets the. Uh, uh, an extra command card at the end of the round, and he has balance of the force, so he actually gets three extra command card po points. So it's great because you can put in, you know, assassinate for the um, the rangers. Uh, so yeah, so there's balance of the force. So he can actually uh, put in an extra three points of command cards, which a lot of people don't use it, but it's, it's interesting. But doesn't handy. that dilute your deck? Like if you have other good cards. Um, it only it, you're still having 15 cards. Oh, I guess it just gets you to take higher point cards. Right. So okay. you can instead of taking a, a, a zero, you can switch a zero for a three point. Mm. Uh, it's you know, it's a lot of people are using it right now, and uh, they're succeeding. They're actually doing well with it. And I think because with these higher point figures like a Han Solo or a Chewbacca, you want to take some good cards in there. So it really affords him some extra good cards. So he's getting the the, the he's taking a long shot with the Rangers on the jet here. This is what you should be doing with these rangers. In this map, I feel like you got to get a shot off in the first round. Oh, he's already going to do some good damage That's here. That's not bad, yeah. Now, you can see Kenny's showing off his uh, regionals dice that he already won last week. Um, they're nice sparkly ones, but I can I can pick them out. So, right now he'd be showing for four damage unless, I believe, um, Jeff Carl's going to change that. Oh, but he loses a surge because it's, he's near the shielded. So he's not necessarily going to do a lot of damage here. Um, Kenny, Kento does pierce one with the Rangers, so I think they're going to do three damage here. Yeah, so three damage, so it's worth it. I think he's doing the right thing. This is what I would do. I would come out with the Rangers and try and get something now, because once he, he floods everybody in, you're losing that. Second Ranger taking a shot. He's going to reroll that one blue, I believe. So the one thing that's good about the Jets is he can change one of those blocks into a surge cancel. He also has an automatic, well, there's no surges, so he's not going to do that. I don't know why I said that. So this is going to be two, a three damage, because he pierces one automatically. He might decide to use Zillow. We'll see if he, he is going to use Zillow. He's using Zillow to add a block. 
So he's adding a block. And obviously Kent so Pierce is one, if they remember that. He's using Zillow to block the Pierce, so he's keeping all three. So Zillow just worked twice there, essentially. He he used it, like he um, ex he's exhausted it to block the Pierce, but it also stays alive in that if you throw a card from your hand away, you can add a block. So that was a really smart move, it's really great use of Zillow. It looks like he's trying to, Kenny's trying to plan out his next attack here from long range. <coughs> yeah, he wants to keep that trooper alive, uh, that jetpack trooper alive, so that he can get score the points. That's right. This round before he's uh, it was, um, he's not going to last beyond that, but if he can get those four points for this round, it's going to be uh, worth it. Yeah, and it's arguable because you could think, hey, the jet point trooper costs four points, so hey, you got four points for four. You're not down in any way. You lose a good figure, but at the very least, you can feel good about the fact that he, he's paid off. Yeah, I mean, he's already committed, right? So. Yeah. At this point, he just needs to hold on to make sure that that move is not going to be a complete waste. That's not going to be right. points lost for nothing. I would agree. So it looks like he's contesting whether um, that ranger actually has a shot because of Para blocking line of sight. So Kento is forced to move the ranger up right into the next spot. He's going to take a shot here. And he's still over five, four or five away. So this is a good roll for Kento because um, he's... No, he's only four away, so... Oh, so he's not going to be able to reroll. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So he can't reroll. But that's a great roll, actually, considering. So it looks like he's going to be able to do, unless he, uh, Carl burns a card, he's going to do three damage. I think that's a dead So uh, yeah, that's a dead trooper. That's four points. Yeah. Wow, great move by Kento here. Good outwitting move. I mean, you, you're Carl, you have to take a gamble. I don't disagree with what he did. I mean, taking the fire from all three Rangers, I mean, he might lot. have liked to have used one of those figures uh -huh. for something else. You're absolutely right. So that's a lot to take away for the first round. And it's interesting what Kento did. <clears throat> a lot of people would expect he should have focused up those Rangers to start. He didn't do that for that reason. He didn't want to waste his focuses on these guys. So that's a really smart move. <clears throat> Very subtle. So now he's got Han and um, Orlando both focused up, which they're both pretty deadly. Especially Lando can stun. And so what Kento's going to probably try to do is stun Vader. I think he's going to try to save it to stun Vader. And once Vader so? gets more close. I would, I would think he's going to try, yeah. but... So looks like here Carl's trying to predict his next move with his uh, jets. So I mean, by no means is it <clears throat> is he in a bad situation right now. But it, I'll say, in my opinion, I honestly it does kind of hurt when you lose a figure in the first round, uh, especially when he didn't actually score the four points. But again, we discussed he, he's. He's still got to get up there. He's got to move all his, his um, units in and try to take mitigate some of this damage. So it looks like he's moving. And do you notice that these jets, man? I, I'm going to try to post a picture of this on Facebook or... Uh, oh, those are, those are pretty sweet. They're just beautifully painted. Like, if you can see them up close, like, man, they're just gorgeous. Uh, really detailed. They almost look like TIE Fighter pilots. It's really cool. So this is, to me, the, bat, the battle of the cool painted figures. Um, I don't know, you can't really tell from here exactly, but Lando is painted in this, like, uh, very uh, sh shimmery colors, and he looks just, just such a pimp. He just looks awesome. He's got this, like, you know, shimmery blue cape and gold pants. So it's amazing. And a golden gun. So, yeah, it's really cool match to see these nicely painted figures. So he moves the jet just to get uh, in a better position for next round. He already knows that his long-range shots are pretty much gone. Um, <clears throat> Han is has nobody in line of sight for yeah. his free end-of-round shot, so that's uh, that's unfortunate. I mean, you can't get too greedy, I suppose. But or did he just move him up to? to no, well, I don't think I don't think Han's moved yet. Yeah, Han has. But I don't I don't know right. if there is anywhere to to right. sit him for the end of the round that. That's going to be wants a to be at. Site. Yeah. So he's probably going to we leave him for last. So you're right. Han hasn't gone yet, so he's got the chance to at least get somewhere within line of sight. But it's going to be interesting to see what, what uh, Kento does here. Well, and any, anyone you move up uh, is poten potentially a target for uh, Vader. Yeah. Well, here it goes Han. <clears throat> All right. Shooting the officer in the back there. Uh, oh, man. I don't know if I agree with this. I mean, uh, this guy, the officer gets because he's next to another figure. He gets to re-roll his white die. So but, I mean, it, it, it's not a great shot, but he doesn't have a lot of really yeah, good options. Yeah, a lot of targets. So right now, I'm sure he's going to re-roll that just to try to survive. That's a huge, 
huge roll. Oh boy, Han is a beast. Now he's thinking at this point, I might as well go for him. If I kill him, great. If I don't, I get an end around shot. So Kento's anyways. considering what he's going to re-roll. Yeah. Re-rolling one of his greens. And he re-rolls, and it looks like more damage. Uh, okay. Pretty darn good. Uh, I mean, that would be a dead officer. Oh, he's going to use uh, Hera's yeah. plus uh, accuracy. So here goes the re-roll, and nope. Same. So it's a dead officer. Yeah. So you, he, he made the right decision. So, so that's Hera's going to give him the extra accuracy because he only has eight and needs nine. Yep. And he can make that decision after, so that's perfect. And that's a dead officer, so... Wow. I thought you said it was a bad shot. You... you hey, I'm proven wrong right there. I, I, I'm i scared to make those shots. Hey, when I make those shots, Travis, guess what happens? Dodge. Yeah, that's fair. I'm like, man. But so, no, that was... Uh, turned out to be the right decision. That's probably why he's a top player and I'm not. So, that's now two more points for Kento. That's... um. This is a great opening round for him, I'll tell you. No, right it's now. turned out pretty well. Yeah, to get two figures just like that is. Two figures and also removing an activation, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to rib him for that one later. Like just, yes, it turned out to be genius. So, two figures, two activations gone, or one, uh, one activation gone, yep. And we'll see what happens now with his. Uh, like it's Vader, Vader or and left. Lando for his side. So I guess at this point, he's got to decide what to do with Vader. Um, he's going to end up getting... Uh, sorry, Carl... Uh, Kenny will, Kento will have the, the initiative, unless there's a steal, a kick initiative. Yeah. So you don't necessarily want to commit Vader too much, but at the same time, if you don't get him in there, you'll see like what happened last round. Once John got him in, you know he's, he can do a lot of damage. If you keep him back, you're wasting a 13-point figure. So he's moving him up. He's probably just going to try to do a line of sight force choke, is what I'm guessing here. He could do it twice, um, as in he'll do it. He could do it now, and he could do it at end of round. I believe he's got line of sight on Chan right now. I think from the back corner, but he's gonna. Oh, okay, he's gonna go to the crate and get the four points. Interesting. I guess he figures Han's gonna get his shot at end of round anyways. He's gonna do his force choke, and he's been nice and close to Han. So it'd be interesting to see what he has starting. I love those um, activation tokens. They're nice too. They're really cool. They show up nice on your stream too. Oh, here goes Lando. I think this is where he goes for the stun. Oh, boy. But he does get a minus surge. So, oh yeah, this is going to be interesting. This is really interesting. Okay, let's see what happens here. He gets a surge out of this because he's losing that surge can't, uh, from being next to right, the... Right, so he needs two. Okay. Doesn't so have two yet. It looks like it's... Oh, boy. He's not going to have the surge for the stun. And, in fact, he does no damage, as it looks right now. So he's going to have to re-roll something. I think he's going to re-roll the yellow. He's going to re-roll the yellow, because he wants the surge. He wants the surge. Oh, Gets boy. it? He gets it, but the problem is he's not doing enough damage. So he can't apply the stun without doing well, enough damage. Well, he also through. doesn't have the range. Yeah, oh, that's true. No no range either. So I... I uh, hindsight's twenty twenty. I think I would have done the same thing. But you could have easily left Lando for next round. So, um, are the points scored now at the end of the round for the... That's correct. So, yeah. well, so points eight. go first. So, it'll be, looks like, eight, eight for Carl and none for Kento. And so, Carl jumps out to an 8-6 lead. And then now, Vader will get his... Well, she goes... They both have an end-around effect. Yeah. But it goes by order of initiative. Okay. So, um, Carl technically has initiative. So, he will go first. He gets to move Vader to... And either attack or yeah, yeah, it's a great move. yeah you want great to move. right yeah I would totally do that so it's a great move he's gonna do attack he's gonna probably use a yellow and a red is my guess and Han gets the three PO bonus and so he's next to three PO yeah he so Kento's considering a cancel. card here ah uh, might be smart so he's getting a surge cancel for next three PO but Han's ability I think, he's running for cover oh this one's nasty he takes a die away from you so he takes the Probably the red away. Nothing's going to happen here. No, he's taking the yellow away. Yeah. Oh, do he, sorry, he's just, ro just rolling the yellow. Sorry. Yeah, and so nothing's going to happen. That was, that was a good move by Kento. He saved some damage on Han. So, see what happens here is every surge cancel that Han has, he gets to add another block. Yeah. So, you knew that nothing was happening there. And he used run for cover. By the way, that's my run for cover card that he's borrowing. So, Kento, you owe me if you win this tournament. I'll take a set of dice. Hey, you already got some. You're rolling them right now. Uh, okay, now it's Han taking his yep. end around a shot on Vader. Not a good roll for Vader. Um, Han's going to re-roll. Not an blue. amazing roll for him. Yeah. Han either. Well, uh, it's not bad. Not, not bad, bad now. I, yeah, it's not too bad. So he's going to do four damage to Vader unless he decides to throw a card away with Zillow. 
Or does Kenny Kento? Oh, he's gonna re-roll Vader. Or does Kento want to play card two? Oh, same. Seven. It's an unfortunate roll for so Vader. It's four damage. Usually with two black dice, you get you know you gotta hope to get four blocks. Yeah, this is just end of round fire. That's correct. Yeah. And now the token passes, and now we see if there's any beginning around cards. Since there's no effects. And I wonder if he's called a vanguard here because it looks like he's pointing to his trooper. But I don't. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, you, you sort of got to use it when you can. But he doesn't. He's not gonna. Let's see, one, two, three. I mean, he could shoot at Vader, but he's not gonna get his his uh, his re rolls. He could shoot from downtown. He could shoot that uh, jet. But let's see what he's trying to decide here. No card being played. See what Carl's doing here. Any any end of round, car beginning round. Sorry. So who do you think Kanto's going to activate first? I'm going to say if I were him, I'd go on because I would attack Vader, move back, and maybe attack Vader, run out of there a bit, or just like hide, maybe go somewhere where you at least have line of sight, move far away enough from Vader. But I guess he knows Vader's just going to come in, just go out of whoever he can. That or. Yeah. Well, so what about the stun from Lando? Yeah, that's tough because you could try stun. You could try attacking Vader again and going for the stun. That would you, be amazing. You're, you're not you're not losing a surge this time because it's not correct. close to the crate. He's not within two. You're correct, and that that would be a huge man because if you stun Vader, and it's 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 heartbreaking because you need you only if you think about it these games only go three or four rounds nowadays, and that guy is only going to get potentially four activations and four you know chances to do attacks. So if you take one away, it's it, it can hurt a lot. So. That could be a smart move, Travis, to see if you're right. If you, you called it, man. He's going for it. He called it. Do you play IA? Gee. I just play a lot of games. Oh, yeah. Dang. So he's going to try to stun Vader here. And if he does this, it'll be massive. Because Vader's going to be stuck there, and he's going to just take shots. Yeah. Like, pelt it. So Vader does roll two blacks. Oh, two surges. Got a, well, it's looking okay for Kenny right now. Just Kento, he, Okay, so. oh, yeah. He'll... He, you can get range from uh, Hera if he needs to. He needs. He, yeah, that's true, and he can actually put through a damage from Hera. So the decision has to come now whether he's going to re-roll. I would re-roll and put a red in there. Oh, he's actually going to keep the yellow. Oh, okay, well, good roll. Now the re-roll from Vader. So he's going to try to block all the damage, and he doesn't. This is a stun Vader. Oh, it's not because he doesn't have the um, surge unless he uses Hera's. So he could use Harris Surge here, and that there would be a stun Vader. But is, it, is there not a surge there? There is, but he would, he would block the one surge, oh, right. and then he could have to use Harris' ability to uh, to push through another. But I'm not sure what he's he's calling that here or not. Okay, so he would have to push. Lando has to push through damage to get the to, surge. To he has to have the, a surge, that's and correct. then has to land damage to get the stun. That's correct. He'd okay. have to put damage through to to land the stun. So I. Wondering... All right, so he's realizing that he should have added a surge from Hera, but he it's didn't. too late as an action. So he needed to do that earlier on after the damage had been assigned. So before spending, yeah, before uh, that's a good point. Yeah, it uh, that that could have been. Wow, that's a big mistake there. Um, it's it's tricky with IA because when attacking, there's a certain step you've got to follow. And Carl, Carl's been very deliberate about ac asking in each of the kind of the proper moments if he's taking an opportunity. That's wonderful because that's that's the way to do it in this game because you know it, it is a, it is the onus is on the player to remember things. It absolutely is. It's missed opportunities, but yeah, some of the game has got a lot of nuances, and you should be saying to players, yeah, okay, so you know you're, you're done with this, you're done with that, because yeah. it gives, gives them a chance. So that that's a bit of a mistake there. Um, Kenny's, well, that's a huge roll by Vader. Oh boy, dodge. Uh, he dodged it? Oh, yeah. man. you got to be kidding me. That you hurts. you got to be kidding me. That hurts so bad. Oh, man. Well, that's payback for not getting that stun. Because that should have been a stun Vader. Kento knows it. Uh, I mean, so the good thing is, yeah. he could use that surge later for something else. I mean, still. So, second action, uh, he first chokes uh, Han. Then, uh... And that looks like... Is that four surge? Four surge, yes. Yeah, four surge, so he can move. Yeah, so choose an adjacent figure, suffers two damage and a strain. So it's basically going to force choke him twice, essentially. Yeah. So Which that puts six damage out of... How much health does Helen have? Uh, he's got 12. All okay. right. Yeah. So he's halfway there. But man, that was a timely dodge from a huge roll. Like, that was massive. Well, I mean, with the rest of the cards he had, it, that could have been a dead Han. Absolutely. Yeah. 
So like I said, almost pay, it's like payback for him not applying that stun. So let's see where it goes from here. But he is, he's now got a Vader sitting out there who's got six damage. Of course, he has 16 health, but he's got he's got enough damage there that you know it's it's not necessarily going to be easy. Let's see what Kento's next move is here. He's going to activate three PO, focus somebody up, and just stay with Han. Yeah, focuses him up Han. Yeah, good move. And because if someone attacks Han, he's going to shoot back. Um, interesting that he didn't. He decided not to shoot uh, Vader back there for the uh, return fire, like the Han's, Han's ability. But he might be saving it for something else, or maybe he knows at this point he's thinking Vader's in a lot of trouble. I think he just realized that he missed his opportunity. Oh, did he? Oops. Oh boy. So, okay, I mean, not the end of the world because you can just use it against the next guy who attacks him, but he's missing Hera and Han. That's, those are two pretty big mistakes. Um, but the game is still wide open. He still has Vader, still has some damage, which is still good. I mean, yes, the, well, the, the Hera would have been used to get the stun on Vader, but yeah. I mean, he's still going to get, he's going to use Hera for some attack. This exactly. Round. Yep, he could use it to push damage. Like, give someone a surge to push two damage through. Uh, he could add a damage. He can give an accuracy if he needs it. So, it's not the end of the world. Uh, and right now, frankly, my opinion is Kanto still has a good position here because he's got a good chance to take out Vader. That's going to put him up 13. And then um, Carl's guys are kind of still way off in no man's land. None of them have any attacks, they're too far away. Uh, he did the right thing. Kento just moved over to one side of the board. So now he's got Gideon. So he's giving to look at this. He's free to do free PO. He's free to do Gideon. He's free to do all these things, and no one's gonna threaten his his uh, his uh, his um, yep. his figures. So it's not uh, it's not a huge loss for him here. So that was a good move. He basically uh, focused uh, up the Ranger, who's got a hide. And I think that gives him line, that gives him line of sight to Vader. Right? That's right. So he gave him a move. Um, no, he doesn't oh. have line of sight to Vader yet, but he yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's got line of sight to a bunch of figures at least. Yeah. Sorry. And if I were him, I would. At this point, he kind of committed to Vader. I almost just keep going at him. Normally, like I said last game, I said I avoid Vader, but you've kind of committed to him. So he's bringing the riots closer because he knows he can't do any attacks with them right now. Smart move to bring one over Ooh. to objective. Yeah. Score the four points, and yet he's still in striking distance. So I like what he's doing right now. He's counting it out to make sure he can kind of. Had the best of both worlds, so he's in striking distance and still would score four. So he's making Kento have to decide here: Do you gonna you gonna waste all your attacks on Vader, or are you gonna try and take out these guys? They're gonna score you eight points. So this is tricky. I can see you can almost sense Kento's brain here, going, "Hmm, what do I want to do here?" But I don't know. What would you do as a non? I, I think I would player? take Vader. Vader, Vader is gonna be taking figures off the board if you don't do something about him. Yeah. Um, Insinuate, I believe, you asked the question, why doesn't he return fire with Han? Uh, I believe he said last that he forgot uh, against Vader, he didn't do it. So, which is interesting, he's been playing Han and Hera for a long time, so he must just be enjoying the day too much. So, oh, so he's going to go in, take the Ranger for a nice long shot on an elite jet. Smart move here. I mean, at this point, you got to start taking these guys out. So, now he's the only a, thing is... Carl might have a card to play in response here. Ah, I see, okay. So he's got hide and focus here, which is going to be a massive attack. But he's going to lose nope, no the card. one. Oh, boy. That's a good roll. That's a really good roll for the blocking. Hey, He's going to re-roll the two blues because he has more than five away. Uh, it's better. Um, still not going to do a lot of damage. He, he loses the one surge because... He's, he's, shooting, he's shooting the back uh, red trooper, so he does have re-rolls. Yeah. So he does... He, has five, he has five, da five away from him. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, someone's commenting, is, Ken, is Kento nervous? Maybe. I don't know. I don't. He seems pretty cool and calm when I play against him. Like, I think it's just maybe he's deciding to do something a little bit different. I don't know. But yeah, use he still Zillow. gets to use. So use a Zillow there. So not the greatest no. result. He's going to take some damage. So two damage looks like. I think he was hoping for more. Yeah. And so Kento's going to go in and just keep trying to pelt this guy. But now he, four, five. He's still five away, so he can still re-roll his two dice. He looks like he's been trying to play a card here. Well, he's just looking at what his options are if he yeah. needs so to finish him off. He's gone away from what we were thinking of. He should be going after Vader. Now he's going to spread himself out. Um, he's going to lose that surge. 
and he's only he's not doing it. he pierces one automatically, so he's gonna have to decide whether he uses Zillow. Oh, Zillow's uh, tapped. So it look the way it looks right now, he's only doing one damage. Yeah, he's only doing one damage. So one damage. But this is where we were just we were saying, what do you do here? Do you go after Vader? Do you go after everyone else? It looks like he's decided he's going after everyone else. And at this point, I'm not sure about that. Which just really makes this game no. interesting and why I love it. Because it makes you have to make some decisions. Hard, tough decisions. So here goes Kento with a long range shot on, uh, looks like the other jet. And the other jet is not in sight of the, uh, the shielded. So it looks like Kento can push two, pierce one. So he's gonna get, right now he's showing three damage. Oh, sorry, two damage, so pierce one. Unless he uses the extra pierce. So he's, uh, gonna, just, he's gonna switch one of his blocks to a, um, a surge cancel. So that only gives Kento a surge, and because they're not near the shield. So he can push through for two damage. So it looks like that black trooper in the back is gonna get two damage. Okay, I yeah, mean, three. not, oh, three damage, okay. Yeah. Not ideal here for Kento, uh, not ideal. Uh, I think he, you know, he, he had that great first round, and this he's, he's doing okay here, but I think the way the position, position Carl has, he's going to now come in and do quite a lot of damage to those Rangers. I personally would have moved all the Rangers over to the other side. I would have used my long shots. But I guess he's trying to try out challenge for the guys who are stand or holding on to the four points, right? Well, he's not. He's not really. He didn't shoot at anyone who was controlling it. Uh, controlling a crate. Yeah. And this is where you know this elite jet group's going to come in now, do some some shots here, and like he's trading a lot of fire and sacrificing his his surges. Yeah, I think so. And then, you know, at the end of the round points yeah. as well. I think it's a mistake. Um, I think he's going to think about it later and know that. that He had the upper hand, to be honest, and he should have just kept them off to the side. So he's maybe. playing, Carl's playing Blitz he's for playing another Blitz, two. Add another surge, so he's going to be able to push two more damage through. So that's an almost dead. Oh, four. Okay. Because he, oh, he, he has two blocks. Yeah, he blocked, yeah. So four, so... I mean, there's a good chance that uh, Ranger is not going to be here. Yeah, I would in think In a few that. seconds. So, like we pointed out earlier, it's like, you know, as much as him coming out to try and take care of business here, it's probably not what it was in his oh, best Oh, taking interest. another crate. Oh, wow. That's a smart move. He could have got greedy there and shot the other Ranger, but he does have another jet group that can just finish off the job. So, interesting move here. I like it. See, I actually talked to Carl before the game when he saw that we were setting up this map. And he said, I'm just going to run everyone up to the crate. I did this already, and I like I like the way it worked out. And this is exactly what he's doing. He's sticking to his game plan here. And it's looking here like he's going to push through some more damage. Three more damage, I think. Three damage, I mean, not more. And so that, again, he's got these exposed rangers. They're usually better off being nice and hidden, taking long shots, but... Yeah, you're right. You, Insignia, you can't uh, can't ignore the crates. I believe I believe in trying to at least go for two in every game. I like at least try to assign a couple of my figures to say, okay, they're going to run in and stand by a crate at some point because you can't let your opponent uh, rush down and while he's rushing in, he's standing by the crates. Yeah. You just can't do that because he can just start shooting from there. You now the challenge, the onus is on you to get rid of him. He's got the minus surge. This is a very well played game so far by Carl. I might even say magnifique. Activating Hera and playing New Orders. Orders. So he gets to um, um, reactivate a group that he's adjacent to. So he basically. Oh, is that's why he had. Uh, okay. Uh, so he's adjacent to that um, the Ranger group. So now they can go again. So it puts a little bit of pressure on uh, Carl here to take one of those guys out before they can shoot yeah. him again. So it looks like that's what he's doing. He's going to be able to use flyby here and add an extra blue dice in. Carl is. Ken, Kento's going to try to block this. I don't know if he has anything else up his sleeve to defend. Oh, that's not a good roll at all for uh, for Carl. Oh, wow. Okay. This is not a good roll no. for Carl. Um, he doesn't get to reroll anything there. He is... Um, there's no effect from shielded. So I don't think he'll kill him here. He won't. He'll damage him, but he's not going to kill him. 
unless he's uh, unless he's gonna have something else he's playing here. He's gonna be fly by, and it looks like he's going to do only, should only do one damage, I think, unless he pierces. What did he put down here? So it was two damage. So, but because uh, he um, he played, he used one surge to push yeah. two through, and yeah. then I believe he pierced. No, I just did one damage. Yeah. Oh, he only did one. Okay, I must have miscounted earlier. So now he's going to try to go for a long shot. Uh, these rangers are good for. I like it. You might as well get that guy out of there. Maybe maybe end up getting him by the terminal to, to get the card next round. Oh, he's the playing Brace, brace for Impact. This is a popular card today. I mean, everyone's using it now. Add that black die in. It's one of my favorite cards in the game, quite frankly. So he adds that extra black in. Oh, boy. Oh. That's the why you get Brace, Brace for Impact. You just added in one of those die, and I'm going to just say to you right now, it's definitely that three block. 100% sure of that. <laughs> Kenny does a reroll. Kento does a reroll. Nice, nice reroll there, though. He's going to pierce one. He essentially could do two damage here. Um, unless, yeah, he could do two damage here. Unless he's going to play a card. So he does two damage. You notice they're using the new tokens from today's tournament. Uh, nice and bright on the screen. Love it. Uh, the orange one at the bottom that uh, Kento used for his ranger. Uh, ranger, nah. Yeah. Older ones, nasty. So Kento's thinking what to do with his other two rangers now. Um, I mean, at this point, I would just keep keep at that one jet. He's got two left to go. So move back like he did. Do that long shot again. Get your guys in a better defensive position. So he's giving us some thought here. He's got, a, he's got a lot of cards in his hand still. So he's being very conservative here. I guess maybe he's thinking this is what he's going to use against Vader later. Who knows? Uh, but, you know, it's, it's definitely true. 16 points. Looks like it's coming towards Carl this round, unless something miraculous happens here. And that's going that's to be a huge swing. Okay, so he's moving back, taking that long shot on the jet. And he gets shielded. Oh, boy. Oh boy, another black Whoa. triple. This is crazy. Carl, I don't know if these are Magic Montreal dice, but so right now he's only showing one damage because he pierces one and he gets that one surge is lost. So he's only going to do one damage and he could throw away a Zillow card if he wants and do no damage. So let's see what he decides to do here. He's going to let the damage go and Kanto doesn't have a card to play, so he's going to remaneuver that. Um, Alliance Ranger to get him in a more defensive position. Put him by the terminal. I like that move. It's a good move. He got a couple shots in, but it's unfortunate he didn't get one more. He didn't have a card to play, like uh, Assassinator positioning advantage. Or he's just saving it for Vader. Could be playing Possum here. Who knows? He's got one more to go here. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to use it to shoot the same guy. So he's going to have to shoot somebody else. Um, and... Yeah, this could be a good chance for him to start help putting some, some damage on Vader, but yeah, it yeah, looks like he's what Oh no, he's gonna go for the uh, for the riot trooper. So maybe soften him up a little bit. He's not gonna get any re-rolls though, and he's gonna lose the surge. Oh boy, no damage. Unless well he he, he would have pierced one, but it looks like he applied his block. So he's doing no yeah. damage here. Um, so I see what he was trying to do, I just not sure I would have agreed with that because at this point you might as well just try to try to so just trying to decide it. if he's going to use Hera here oh, okay so you could use Hera and put two more damage two, two damage through so he's using Hera and he's putting two damage through on the uh, the, the riot so the natural pierce so it takes yeah. two damage yeah so he's going to take two damage All right, we got the um, Han on Vader here. 
showing eight damage. Seven damage. So that would take uh, Vader to 12 damage. Oh, no, sorry. That's sorry, that kills the riot guard. I don't know why I'm thinking about Vader. Sorry, guys, I had to resolve a Greedo question. That's fine. Uh, so that riot, riot guard's gone. Oh, he got him? Yeah. With who? Six damage with Han. Wow. Okay. So how many points are the riot guards? Uh, they're three points. So it's interesting because they, they have a lot of, a lot of meat. Yeah, they're only three points. That also denies another uh, four points. Yeah, so, okay, so he made a smart move there. 12 points. So 12 points added on for Carl. Well, don't we have the end of um, round? So, yeah, so with first Vader you draw huh? cards. Uh, no, the points go first. Okay, points go first. So it's end of round effect, so we, you get the 12. Then now it's going to be the um, Vader effect here, because he had, who has initiative here? I thought, yeah, he had initiative. So uh, Carl gets to decide what he's going to do with Vader. And then, yeah, see, it was a bit unfortunate that Kento forgot to attack Han last round, uh, with Han yeah, last round. Yeah, it would have done more damage on Vader. Oh boy, this is not bad for Kento here. So, let's see what he's got. Bring in the screen. Wow, that's a good attack for Han. Oh man, that's awesome for him. So he can actually add two damage to that. Oh, he's, adding, oh, he's tough lucking his die to take one of his dice out. So that's, uh, that's going to be, let's see, two, four, seven, six damage it looks like. Because you can change that surge to two damage, so it's like six damage to Vader. Unless he throws a card away for Zillow. I don't know if I would at this point, because he's just going to keep attacking Vader anyways. Um, discarding a like card for Zillow. a card, so it's going to be five damage, I believe. Four damage. Four damage. Okay, I counted wrong. So four damage, so that's ten now. Looks like uh, now he gets to go, he gets to move Vader up to two spaces, moving one. He's going to force choke the Ranger, it looks like. And the Ranger is going to take two and a surge. Oh, he's attacking. Sorry, I'm sorry. He's attacking. He's using a red and a yellow. Uh, not a great roll, but he gets to re-roll an attack guy. So uh, I would re-roll the yellow, I think, and let's see what... Carl comes up with here, and it's way better. Yeah, it's oh, a boy. good diet. Oh, man. That's like five damage. Oh, and he gets his plus plus bonus. He gets an, an added. Yeah, it's a dead ranger. That's four points gone. Four points for Carl. And the initiative now is Carl's. So he's playing um, fuel upgrade. So what that does is... All of his um, vehicles slash jet, essentially jet troopers, they're all this round going to have an extra movement point and a surge cancel. So they're going to be really hard to hit. Uh, and they're a little more mobile. And that lasts the whole round. So it looks like he's going to try to take out this uh, hurting yeah. uh, ranger. And he's taking this going to see about So again, Kento still has a lot of cards in his hand. So maybe he's got something good up his sleeve here. Who knows? Now, I find it interesting, Ooh. though, so that should be a dead ranger. Yeah. I find it interesting, though, that he wouldn't have used Vader first to attack and get get out of there. Um, again, I'm not as top player of these guys, so maybe he's got, he knows he can just hold on to objectives this way. He can shoot and move. Um, but I would imagine at this point, Kento has to do something about killing Vader to get the 13 yeah. points to get back in the game. He's playing I make, on, my, own make luck. my own luck. Oh, so what had happened there? I'm sorry, I missed the card play. That was uh, called a Vanguard. So what happened was um, he came in with the Jet Trooper and shot and moved back. So now Kento's playing his beginning around. I make my own luck. He gets the initiative token, and he gets, but he has to activate Han first. But I mean, I think he wants to prevent uh, getting anything further from Vader. So yeah. I, I think I think you want to. Get the try to take your best shot of the kill. Yeah. Um, I can't see what he's playing here. Oh, stimulants. Okay, so well that's cool. It's a good call here because Han is a smuggler, so he basically gets one movement point and he gets focused. And this is gonna be a pretty 
heavy shot on Vader, and he also needs has Hera's six, ability. Needs six damage to get through here. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna gamble a dead Vader here, but let's see how, how good the roll is that Vader gets. <laughs> yeah, he's loving that, eh? <laughs> and let's see what the blacks are. That's looking like a dead Vader, probably. Yikes! Yikes! So if he rerolls the black and gets a three, that could help him. So the good thing about Han is he can push damage t with two surges. Oh, he gets That's it. That's what I needed. Oh, no. Needed that. He needed that. But but Kento can add on three damage uh, with those surges, and he's got Terra, so he can add three damage. Well, he's not gonna do much more with that. He can add Hera's damage though. So that's going to be, let's see what he's got showing, he's minus 5, he's showing right now 3 damage, and he's got, if he wants to use Hera's extra damage, he can, yeah. but at this point I'm not sure I would no, have. He needed a couple more damage. points. Yeah, that reroll that was, is timely. The, I think we need to check, this, Zillow as well. as the judge, I think I'm going to check the dice, uh, Carl's black dice, because he's, he's rolling a lot of 3 blocks, man, I don't know, i got to weigh them out. Do you guys have one of those 6 sided die yeah. uh, measures, so spin it. So, doesn't look like he did much damage to the Dark Lord. Uh, I think Kenny's, Kento's going to be a little disappointed with that. Yeah. And now that's probably going to be a dead Vader. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if he's got on the lamb in his hand. And that means he can make a movement with Han before you resolve the dice. Meaning he's going to get away with running away from Vader. And... With the amount of cards Kento has in his hand, he's definitely, I think he's definitely got that, and he's also probably got uh, Lando's card. So if Invader does, for some reason, try to attack Lando, Lando's going to dodge it. And you can use on the lamb after the dice have resolved. Okay, so he's moving up, he's attacking 3PO. Good move. Takes away an activation, takes away an ability to focus. Good move here. I mean, Han's not doing anything else this round. Yeah. So what's the point? Eh, that's going to be a dead 3 kill. He dodges! Oh, oh man. That's two tiny. clutch dodges for wow. Kento so far. So I think maybe equally I should check that Kento's white die. Right? Maybe spin that around. Make sure it spins evenly. That looks like a brand new regional dice. Regional die. So, wow, another timely dodge. you got to be frustrated if you're Carl on that move. I mean, you are up 28-9, but you got to be frustrated. And I, I just realized it. Um, at the end of this round, Carl will win if, unless Kento does some pretty crazy moves here. I, I don't think he's going to be able to pull this off. Um, it's going to be really close. He, he needs to do... Well, I mean, Vader probably will not... Oh, no, he's got to kill a lot of people. Well, he yeah. just has to contest. Right. That's true. That's true. He could always run everyone up and contest and hope for next round to take something out. That's a good point. I mean, at this point, I would think yeah, that's the way to do it, is to uh, contest. Let's see what's happening here. Let's see, he's doing a ranger. Um, he's got, he's going to lose a surge from the shielded, but the ranger has the innate... The so it's one of the rangers down, or it's one of the uh, yep. trippers down. So he couldn't, he couldn't do enough with Zillow to block it, so that's another four points for Kento. And it looks like... No, that's right, he only had one ranger in the group, so just the one, act, one ranger reactivation. I mean, it's looking pretty close if you look at the board, but it's at the objectives is what Carl's crushing Kento yeah. on right now. I mean, to go to have the two rounds worth of points is massive. So at this point, I think if you are Carl, you might try to take a long shot with that one jet trooper you still have to activate. The riot trooper on the far side, in my opinion, I would leave him where he is. Four points. He's out of the line of sight of everybody. You know, he's getting he's scoring you the four. So I think he's gonna use the jet here to take a, a long shot at the at the yeah. trooper. Alliance Ranger, sorry. Um, he's not gonna benefit from flyby or anything like that. He's not gonna no. get the extra die. Mm, not sure what he's thinking about doing here. I, I'm not sure I would leave the four points at this point because you're putting a lot of pressure. The onus is on Kento to make, like you said, either contest yeah. or try to kill something, which is not looking great right now for him. I mean, he's not him. really... I don't know that he's killing any of those figures this turn. Yeah. And even Lando, if Lando tries to attack Vader, yeah, this is going to be tricky. So he is going to go all... He's going all the way in. Wow. Okay, he's going to attack. No, he's going to... He'll come back after the shot. Yeah, I just don't think he can... He's more than two spaces away. No, he's only so two spaces away. So, let's see, what did he... Yeah, because he only rolled the blue and the green. Yeah. So, OK, 
Okay, so he just okay, so he did. He just moved up a couple. Did it. Don't forget, he has, he has his expert movement from um, fuel oh, upgrade. From fuel upgrade. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I only saw. That. I did. I forgot too, but he yeah. was pointing at the cards. Okay, card, I was so. just gonna say, I'm like, how did he do that? Okay, good. I'm glad he pointed that out. Man, those are cool objective tokens. Or um, activation tokens. Okay, so it looks like he's gonna activate three PO. Get him a nice focus on Lando or Han. I would do Lando maybe. Yeah, and then go for a stun on Vader perhaps, because then Vader can't do his. Well, uh, he so can't attack in the round, he can do force choke. Though. I know. I do you? I don't know if you can afford to spend an activation. That I think you need to do something else with Lando. Yeah. I, I think you've got to run him up on something. Well, you got to hope that Han's shot can take Vader out yeah. at the end of the round. Right, and then 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 Lando can stand next to the crate yeah. or something and get four points. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, he's not going to get four points, right? He's just going to deny that. Yeah. You like you deny, right? Yeah. If you're not the only that's one. That's correct. Yeah. So he's, he's playing it smart. Carl's playing it smart here, just sort of moving up, kicking some shots, getting back to his crate so he can uh, keep his four points for the round. So, okay, looks, let's see, can he get, Kento gets here. Okay, so... Kento has initiative in this round. Yeah, so that's four damage showing. That would kill him. He's adding in, he's uh, pushing for two. Yeah, so another four so damage that, would, that killed for the Carl. Ranger, so four more points for Carl. Looking pretty grim it's for Kento. It's dire now. because it's... Pretty looking pretty obvious that he's definitely scoring eight. Like, well, Carl's scoring eight. I don't think you're going to be yeah. able to contest all of these crates. Well, so, how how far can Lando move? Well, Lando can move eight. So he can get he can so, deny the one on the right yeah. guard. And then if Han kills Vader, uh, I yeah, you can still got Hera. I mean, Hera can go and try. Oh, and he's going to take well. a shot at Vader. Yeah. I think it was it's a little too late. I, I think he's just point. I think it's just playing it out now. Yeah. I don't think he's. Yeah, he, he's I think got at this point he should, have, he should have went after Vader a lot earlier. Um, but hindsight's 2020, and the guy's been rolling, like, Carl's been rolling blacks, like, uh, like re-rolling free blo block and oh, having a great game. So it looks like Kento's going to change it to a red die, which is Lando's ability, and he's, he's going to make it, uh, let's see what he's going to do now. He's going to re-roll, Carl's going to re-roll his Vader. So he's going to stun Vader, it looks it's like it, for sure here. Um... Unless he's deciding to just go for the extra damage, which might make more sense, because then you're like you said, he can kill with Han, right? But the stun leaves him in place. That's the only thing. So he could do. A, uh, although Kento has initiative, so he gets to shoot first. So okay, so I would probably go for the damage here. He also looks like he's using Hera's ability to add in. Is he adding trying to add a damage yeah. or? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Insinu. Like, uh, maybe put Lando up right up to the crate. Just to... Number one, you're contesting. Number two, if you happen to kill Vader, then you're going to score four points. So, I... So did he get, did he he get, get enough? Vader. Oh, he got enough. Okay, good. So, he must have used Hera's ability to push through more damage. So, he gets 13, which brings him back in. But he should move Lando up, too. And take the four points from the crate. So, I'm not sure what he... His uh, thoughts are here, unless he's worried about leaving Lando sitting out there by the uh, the riot. But Ra Lando has no damage. He probably has his Lando card in there. Can, and unfortunately, he's going to be not be, not going to be able to do anything with uh, Han and the round shot because it doesn't look like he has anyone in line of sight. I mean, it's interesting because yeah, Carl's going to take what's looking like potentially twelve points. Yeah. Eric can maybe contest one. Yeah, I think this is this game's over. Because Hera can contest one, or it looks like he might try to even shoot this guy, but it's not stopping the eight points uh, from Carl. That he has nobody that can stop the eight points. So he's gonna move Han with Gideon, focus up Han with Gideon. So now he's getting Han into line of sight. That was a beautiful move, Kento. So he basically proved me wrong. Han now has a line of sight, so he now has an end of round how, how does he have... What he did was he um, he moved... Oh, oh you were okay. saying how does he have a line of sight? I think yeah. the, the back corner yeah, yeah. can actually touch either that one and that one or yeah. that one and that one. I think it actually does touch both front ones. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong guy. So it'd be no, the, no, it only touches yeah. the front one. So it touches the side the side and the back. They must have agreed on that. Like, I think when he was checking it. Yeah, but it would only hit the front corner. It wouldn't hit the back corner. You don't think it would hit this back one? No. Uh, back one. Okay. I'm not sure. No, because it's like two, like two deep here, two yeah. deep here, so it only make it to that corner. Yeah, kind of does look like that, eh? Yeah. Okay, we'll see what they what they've decided then. But maybe he just wants to get him in a better position. 
But he uh, moves the officer up and has another crate that he's claiming. Oh boy. Yikes. So he's going to contest that one. That's a, that means a smart move. I mean, because now you've got the, uh, the hurting jet right there, right? But at this point, yeah. he's still scoring. So another 12 points. And that's, that's game. So it was, uh, you know, a good battle, but I think Kento just waited too long to get at the objectives. Like Carl moved up really fast and aggressive like he planned. 